Welcome everyone to another Star Wars Duel the Public video and in this video we're going to be talking about the updates to the reputation system and the way that works. Uh, currently the way the system works is here at the Cartel Bazaar there are reputation vendors and these vendors offer some of the rarest items in the game, you know Revan's mask, the command thrones and hover chairs and stuff like that. And this was a system that was implemented way back when the Cartel Market was first released and the Cartel Packs back in the day would give you reputation tokens and if you got enough reputation tokens and and cartel market certificates which, which also drop from the cartel packs then you would be able to purchase some of these really rare items so it was kind of a way of rewarding people who opened up a ton of cartel packs but now the system is quite outdated. The reason being, uh, those old cartel packs have all been embargoed and so it's really hard to get your reputation up. And also cartel market certificates are just really hard to obtain. And so they're updating the system in a way by which it's kind of more relevant now uh, given the ultimate cartel packs and the way those work. So they're going to be merging all of the reputation into one single reputation called the Underworld Exchange. You know, so right now we have like five or six different reputations based upon the shipments that were released. Each shipment would have its own reputation associated with it, along with its own vendor and list of items. But now, as you can see here on the screen, each of these vendors is just associated with the Underworld Exchange. So all you need to do is get legendary status with the Underworld Exchange in order to have access to all of the items offered by all of these vendors. And the current reputation or progress that you've already made will all be merged together. So if you are legendary status for just one reputation that is in the game right now, then you will be legendary status for the Underworld Exchange. So right now, for example, I'm like newcomer or friend with all of the reputations, but I am legendary status for the Contraband Resale Corporation, which means I will be automatically made legendary status for the Underworld Exchange. Now one thing you might notice here on screen is the reputation tokens still are kind of different but they all are just giving me reputation for the Underworld Exchange. So there still will be kind of distinct reputation tokens from the Ultimate Cartel Packs. You might get, you know, reputation tokens that were dropping from Shipment 1 or Shipment 5, uh, but they're all just giving you reputation for the Underworld Exchange. You can also see that here in the Legacy tab uh, and as I'm ranking up my reputation. This is on the public test server. Now I should mention that Ultimate Cartel Packs will now drop reputation tokens. So that is basically a good way of getting up to legendary status for those people who will not be legendary status when the new patch hits. However, and this is a really awesome change, the Ultimate Cartel Packs will not drop reputation if you are already at legendary status, which means if you do choose to open Cartel Packs and you're already at legendary status with the Underworld Exchange, you won't be getting these junk reputation tokens that you can't do anything with. Those item drops will be replaced with something that's going to be more useful to you. So that's really awesome. Mosco also confirmed that the current methods of getting reputation tokens remain unchanged, meaning you will still get reputation tokens from old cartel packs, and more importantly, you will still get reputation tokens from the contraband slot machine, which is the simple, most effective way of getting to legendary status. Uh, for, right now, it only drops reputation tokens for the contraband resale corporation, but when the new patch hits on July 30th, it will now give you reputation tokens obviously for the Underworld Exchange Corporation. And you can easily get to legendary status just simply by spending a few hundred thousand credits and a little bit of your time. If you play, keep playing the slot machine, you will be able to get to legendary status. I have made a video about how to very easily access the contraband slot machine. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. If you do not already know about it, you can check that video out. It should help you get access to one. You can easily get to legendary status. What's going to be more difficult, however, is getting cartel market certificates. Those are still relatively difficult to obtain. Now, they do drop as a really rare drop from the contraband slot machine, but it's like super rare. It's just simply not worth it. They will be added, however, as a rare drop to ultimate cartel packs. So you opening cartel packs, you will get cartel market certificates. Now, that's not the most effective considering that they're incredibly expensive on both the GTN and the cartel market. So it's not like going to be easy to get them. It's really unfortunate. Also, they're added as a rare drop. So the drop rate is going to be relatively low. Now the drop rate was obviously not confirmed by any of the devs, but I do have my sources and it seems as though it's going to be somewhere around one cartel market for every hyper crate. Okay, so that is incredibly rare. I do hope that number increases during the time of release. Now, as I said, I do have my sources. It seems as though it's going to be some, something along those lines. We'll obviously test that out when the, um, when the patch hits. 
And so that ends the updates to the new reputation system. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As I said, it's, it's, it's a positive improvement, but simply it's still really too difficult to access cartel market certificates. So I think Bioware kind of making um, ways by which we can get them in game without having to spend credits or cartel coins would be great. And hopefully they decide to make some of those improvements into the future. Those are my opinions, but I always let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about this. And I'll see you guys in the next one.